So it's no secret that Balotelli's career has been a little bit interesting to say the least. From the ups to the downs, let's let's be real, there's been more downs than ups. Whether it was his on-field antics or his off-field antics, including setting his entire room on fire, it's been interesting. Today I'm going to be putting a 16-year-old Mario Balotelli back at Inter Milan. We're going to be re-simulating his career and see if he can have the success that he was meant to have. A Serie A winner. Premier League winner, a treble winner with Inter, and a Champions League winner, obviously with Inter. We're gonna see if we can recreate some of that success and just have Mario Balotelli become one of the greatest players in the world and see if he was destined to fail or destined to actually be one of the greatest players ever. We're gonna see that all through this entire career re-simulation. If at any point you guys do enjoy this video, you can smash that like button, subscribe if you're brand new, FIFA 23 coming out soon. So some big things coming with FIFA 23. Let's get into this video. So the big thing about this is that I'm gonna have no influence on where Balotelli goes, on what he does, because we're gonna be taking the perspective of some Somebody looking in so I'm Milan he's an in Inter and wherever he goes I'm gonna follow him if he goes to the German League if he goes to the Premier League I'm gonna follow him he's got a potential of 90 so he can get up there he can become one of the best players in the world let's simulate season one see what Balotelli does at the end of season one Inter finishing in second place doesn't look like Balotelli actually picked up the Serie A did they win they didn't win the Coppa Italia did they win the Champions League they didn't did they win the Europa League after maybe getting knocked out that they win the Conference League. So no silverware for Balotelli in his first season. But from a 66, he went up to a 70. So maybe some regular playing time for him this season. His stats are really, really good for a 70 rated striker. His finishing could be a little bit better. He played no games in Serie A. Not a single minute not starting, not off the bench in Serie A. It's a little bit concerning. In the Coppa Italia, they went all the way to the final. Did he get some game time? He got absolutely nothing in the Coppa Italia. So no games in Serie A, no games in the Coppa Italia. They were in the Champions League. I don't know if they only played six games and then got knocked out. Nothing in the Champions League. And judging by Lautaro Martinez's 10 matches, they definitely went further than just the group stage. So Mario Balotelli, first season, no games in the Champions League. Go no games in the Coppa Italia, no games in Serie A, but he went up by plus six. So another disappointing season for Inter, finishing in fifth. Coppa Italia, what happened? They actually won the Coppa Italia. So Balotelli at least won himself some silverware in his second season, winning the Coppa Italia against Fiorentina. Did they win the Champions League, actual Champions League finalists? So hopefully great for Balotelli. Maybe he got some minutes. At least he got himself some silverware. Balotelli now up to a 74 at 18 years old. He's got some great stats on him. 88 penalties. His finishing has gone up. Did he play any games this season? Please, Inter. Mario Balotelli. Nothing in Serie A once again. Nothing. Not a single minute again. He has to have played at least a part in the Coppa Italia. Not even a minute. Literally nothing for Balotelli. Nothing. Nothing off the bench. Nothing starting. Champions League. They were finalists. With that many games, you have to have have to have at least brought him on for something. No, they decided to sign Calvert-Lewin and Zeko played 10 matches. Balotelli, no games in two years. Maybe a transfer away, revive his career, but he's growing fantastically for this career re-simulation. He's a 78 rated after season three. Please tell me he at least got some game time this season. I know for a fact that Inter did win one trophy this season to another piece of silverware towards Balotelli's trophy cabinet. Inter outside looking in on one of the European spots, so nothing for them. Juve winning the league. They did win the Supercoppa, so he was part of that side. So a second piece of silverware for Mario Balotelli. They didn't make it through to the Coppa Italia. The Champions League, they weren't in it. They were in the Europa League and they didn't make it. They lost in the quarterfinals, so no silverware for them. Serie A, please, Balotelli. You know what? I, I, I think it's time to leave. You're just not growing. At 19 years of age, he hasn't played a single game in Serie A. In the Supercoppa, nothing for him. No goals. Not even a single minute of game time. It's three years. He hasn't done anything. Coppa Italia, nothing. At least tell me he got some game time in the Europa League. If not... Hopefully he leaves Inter and goes elsewhere to fulfill his potential. Balotelli, nothing. 
After three years, he hasn't played a single game. Who knows, he's maybe playing in the youth squad, but Balotelli, instead of playing him, they continue to just sign strikers. Here's how Balotelli's looking at the end of season four, 2024, 2025. 82 overall, 20 years old. Great physical stats, great technical attributes, but no trophies for Inter this year, but some, f uh, finally, some good news in Balotelli's career. It took him four years, three and a half, whatever you want to call it, but he finally got some game time. Let's just get the disappointment out of the way in the Coppa Italia Balotelli didn't see a single minute but that's all right because finally finally in Serie A Balotelli got some games he only played seven though <laughs> he played seven games no goals one assist so at least he contributed to something this season but he just got blocked off by Richarlison who had 36 games in front of him but Balotelli looking like he's finally coming into the team 82 overall maybe a big season for him next year it's the start of the fifth season 25 2026 20, it's been brought to my attention that balotelli has been approached by Bayer leverkusen inter have received an offer for 85.3 million for their player let's simulate some days see if he finally gets a move to a club that's gonna use him so there it is mario balotelli Five seasons in, he gets his big, big money move. 85.3 million. Bayer Leverkusen. Let's head to Germany. It had to be a big year for Balotelli. World Cup year. He grew fantastically. He's up to an 85 at the age of 21 at the end of season five. His stats are phenomenal for a 21-year-old striker. And he, hopefully he's living up to his actual potential. But it just just wasn't a good season for Balotelli. After moving for 85.3 million, Balotelli only scored two goals in the Bundesliga, only playing 15 games. In the DFB Pokal, the cup in Germany, he played zero games, zero minutes in the DFB Pokal for Mario Balotelli. They were in the Champions League by Leverkusen, and I think they got to the round of 16, but Balotelli, in seven games got himself one goal and to top that all off i said it was a world cup year italy announces their cup for the 2026 fifa world cup he's not there forwards are chiesa keen sotil zaniolo mattia zaccagni mario balotelli is nowhere to be found at the end of the sixth season this was a huge year for mario balotelli he's up to an 88 fantastic stuff for him just take a look at those stats his finishing has gone up if you take a look at the transfer he's worth about 122 million as you can see it says Adeyemi wins golden boot but Balotelli actually finished level on goals with him in fewer matches so I don't know why Adeyemi actually got the golden boot it should have been shared between him and Balotelli as you just saw Balotelli 19 goals and 31 appearances two assists for Mario Balotelli one yellow card. I have to take a look at the cards because, you know, he's known for getting cards here and there. But he played the most out of the strikers. I'm very, very happy for him. 19 goals. DFB Pokal. Let's just go take a look. Two games, no goals, no assists. They didn't play in any European competitions. Let's see if Balotelli can get a massive season next year. At the end of Season 8, Balotelli has pretty much reached his potential. It was a 90. Maybe he can go a little bit more than that. 23 years of age, 92 finishing right now. So you're thinking maybe he got a fantastic season. That's what I thought. And then Balotelli, 34 games. He played every single game. He got 15 goal contributions. So you know what? I think that's a successful season, but only 10 goals, 5 assists for Mario Balotelli. If you take a look at the top goal score in the Bundesliga, he had 19. So 10 is all right, I guess. And this was a huge disappointment in the Champions League. 10 games played. He got zero goals. One assist, Mario Balotelli. At the end of the 28-29 season, Balotelli just missed out on the top goal scorers by three goals. 18 goals for Mario Balotelli. Just can't seem to beat 19 goals. 34 games, 18 goals, 7 assists. So a lot of goal contributions for Mario Balotelli, including 18 goals. And the DFB Pokal, he finally scored. It took him four seasons, but two goals, one assist for Balotelli. As you can see, he's staying at a 90 rated. In the Champions League, Leverkusen got knocked out by the eventual winners, Barcelona. But Balotelli finally putting in a good performance. Eight games, four goals for Mario Balotelli in the Champions League. No golden boot for him yet. No championships for Bayer Leverkusen for him into his fifth season playing at the club. Is he going to move? Is he going to stay? Is he going to win them something? Balotelli is coming off one of his best seasons in his 10th year, the 2029 
2030 season the world cup year mario balotelli scoring 20 goals and 34 appearances in the bundesliga it wasn't enough to actually make him win the golden boot but the dfb paul cole five games no goals for Balotelli, and you're going to see exactly what happened this season for Leverkusen. Did Balotelli get himself some silverware and some big things happening with Balotelli? Leverkusen in the Champions League, they got knocked out, I think, in the round of 16. Six goals and eight appearances for Mario Balotelli for Leverkusen in the Champions League. And what did Leverkusen do? What did Balotelli win this season? Well, they finished in fourth in the Bundesliga. They actually did win it 3-1. So by Leverkusen winning, Mario Balotelli Balotelli getting himself a big piece of silverware in his career. He loves winning the domestic cups, but yet to win a Champions League, yet to win a league. And Balotelli's contract, if we take a look at it, is actually expiring at the end of this season. So a team can pick him up on a free. A 90 rated striker on a free would be massive. Leverkusen apparently not choosing to re-sign him. So Balotelli may be taking his talents elsewhere. With the way this game's broken, he's probably just gonna stay in the free agents, but maybe he wants to win a Champions League. I think this is a huge step for Balotelli in his career. He went to the free agents, he lasted a couple days. I was looking at the stories, he was picked up by Atletico Madrid 2030. 2031 season atletico just off the back of a champions league victory he's gonna have an opportunity to play for some big big competitions and italy in the world cup got knocked out in the group stage let's see how balotelli does at atletico 25 years old going on 26 after signing a big free move to atletico madrid he helped them finish third place in La Liga, in the Supercopa, they were actually not able to do anything. Copa de España, not able to do anything. So no trophies yet for Mario Balotelli. But in the UEFA Super Cup, they actually won 3-0 against Mallorca. It's the winners of the Champions League against the winners of the Europa League. So big piece of silverware for him. Also, coming up right now, which we're actually going to watch and see if Balotelli can have a part in is the 31st of May 2031 Champions League final Atletico Madrid against Liverpool Atletico looking for back-to-back -back Champions Leagues didn't win the golden boot but a respectable 37 games 18 goals to assist I'm not showing you his rating just yet because we're gonna take a look at that in in a few minutes in the Supercopa a goal an assist helping Atletico uh well they, they didn't actually win so didn't help Atletico do anything in the Copa de España which they didn't Go through to the finals two goals and two appearances only has himself two goals and 11 appearances he's definitely gonna start the final let's take a look if balotelli actually passed his potential which was 90 and i guess some move to atletico madrid really really helped him become a world-class player this is the timeline where mario balotelli became one of the best players in the world the timeline we're living in you know exactly what happened the balotelli helped them beat stade rene where the french champions chelsea Bayern Munich all to make it here to the Champions League final there he is against a Liverpool side that has some decent players on paper but a lot of aging stars in the side there's Balotelli lining up let's kick this match off gonna watch it from start to finish I don't have any lighting mods actually put on and we're on the PC version of the game but we're gonna see if Balotelli can get some highlights in this one and hopefully he wins himself the Champions League Oh, what a great strike by Luis Diaz. Balotelli's Champions League hopes ever so slightly fading. Rodri, good interception. Valverde. Balotelli. Finds a strike partner, Jaworski. Jaworski, whatever you want to call it. Him and Lewandowski share a similar name. That's why he's his region. Balotelli finding Charlier. Balotelli gets an assist in one of his most important matches of his career. 1-1. One -one. See how many goal involvements he's had in his entire career a lot of assists as well gets another one here 1-1 one, one. games level boys Jaworski Rodri Rodri there Allison makes an absolute mess of it in the final Rodri scoring 2-1 Atletico it looks like Balotelli's final is over coming off with nine minutes left he played a part in the goal maybe bringing on a defender who knows but can they just see out this victory so that's it Mario Balotelli is a Champions League winner just like he is in real life. So the simulation did get that one right. Played a part in this final. He didn't in real life, so at least there's that. He's one of the best players in the world. 
Let's continue on with this simulation. Wasn't the greatest of seasons for Balotelli. 36 games played, 11 goals, 5 assists. The only piece of silverware that he actually won this season was the UEFA Super Cup. Super Copa, no goals for Mario Balotelli. In the Copa de España, he only did play one game. He scored no goals, no assists. UEFA Super Cup, which they did win once again. A game played, no goals for him. In the Champions League, they weren't able to complete three times in a row. Weren't able to do what Real Madrid did. 11 games played, four goals for Mario Balotelli. And he's still a 92 overall with the Euro coming up. Can Italy win it? Can Balotelli get something on the international stage? It was a great year for Balotelli, honors-wise, at the end of the 32-33 season. La Liga was won by Atletico Madrid, 72 points. Balotelli also did win the Copa de España, the Copa del Rey. That's the double for this season. And Balotelli, individual-wise, wasn't really that great. He started off with a great season the first year he came to Atletico. Only 12 goals for Mario Balotelli, 2 assists. And then the Champions League and the Copa del Rey only scoring 1 goal in... Quite a lot of appearances, but Balotelli looks like he's stagnant at 92 overall. Let's head to another World Cup year, 33-34. Can Italy win a World Cup? They literally haven't made it out of a group in any competition. This season wasn't so kind to Balotelli. Five goals, three assists, and 29 appearances for the 92 rated. Pushing 30 next season. Atletico finishing runners-up in La Liga. They did win the Supercopa. So at least there's that. Balotelli getting an assist in the competition in two appearances. Copa de España. No games played for Balotelli. Looking like season one all over again. They got knocked out of the Champions League. Balotelli with only one goal. One assist in the Champions League. Played in the Europa League and then got knocked out. No goals, no assists for Balotelli. And yeah, only five goals in La Liga. Maybe his time's up here at Atletico Madrid. But Italy needs to do something in the World Cup. Can Balotelli win the World Cup with Italy? They have such a great squad. I don't know what's happening. I wasn't paying attention to the news articles for a while. I had seen something pop up about Balotelli. And as you can see, we're in Manchester United. This is the start of the 2034 2035 season i don't know where the news article has actually went but balotelli has signed just like he did in real life for manchester city <laughs> and you guys want to know how much he signed for 246 million five hundred thousand so balotelli we're gonna do two more years of this because that's gonna line up exactly to where balotelli is in real life and he just moved to Manchester City for 246 million. Incredible. After missing the World Cup because he was injured. You'd expect Balotelli 250 million to maybe deliver just a little bit more, but 15 goals, three assists in his first season. Still a 92 rated for Manchester City. The only thing that Manchester City did win this season was the Super Cup, the Champions League. They got knocked out, scored himself three goals, bagged themselves two assists, Mario Balotelli in seven appearances, but unfortunately wasn't able to win the Champions League with Manchester City. Let's head into the final season that we're gonna be doing. So it matches up with real life and see if Balotelli's career in FIFA is better or the career he's had in real life. But yeah, Balotelli didn't win anything with Manchester City in the two seasons he's been here, but this is where we're gonna be ending it. Mario Balotelli, only five goals this season. Looks like Lister has played a lot more games than him. But Balotelli still a 92 rated, five goals, two assists. Champions League also wasn't great for Balotelli, only five games played for him and a goal. They were knocked out in the round of 16 against Frankfurt. That's massive for them, but not that many goals for Balotelli this season to end off this career re-simulation. You're going to see the full stats. I was going to have the 2036 Euro, but for some reason the game kept crashing. So Balotelli in four seasons at Inter Milan, seven games played, no goals for him in Serie A. Leverkusen in five seasons, 148 games played, 69 goals in the Bundesliga as well as the DFB Poco. I forgot to mention that with Inter he did win the Coppa Italia. He did win the Supercoppa Italiana. He signed with Atletico Madrid on a free and that's where I think he did his best work. Two times UEFA Super Cup champion. UEFA Champions League winner with a crucial assist. La Liga he won it once. Copa del Rey he won it once. Supercoppa won it once in a four-year period at Atletico Madrid. 
140 games played, 46 goals for Mario Balotelli. And after signing with Manchester City for something crazy like 250 million in two seasons, 58 games played, 20 goals for him, as well as a UEFA Super Cup. Let me know what you guys thought of this career re-simulation. This took me incredibly long to do, so if you guys do like it, please drop me a like down below. What do you think was better? His career in real life or his career re-simulation? We're at the same point in his career right now at 32 years of age. If you guys have enjoyed this video, you guys can leave me a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.